Welcome to episode 297 of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today, recapping our uh, wild card weekend loss against the New Orleans Saints. Um, not going to be too much, I guess, because this is, I mean, if you've been listening to me, it sounds like a broken record, I'm sure. I know it does to me, but this is who we are. This is exactly who we are. It's been no different. I'm not sure why sometimes people expect just a different team all of a sudden, um, especially when you play in competition. You are who you are. And so there's going to be a lot of people tempted to go towards the injury talk. I mean, look, it, it's not – I to me personally, that didn't change much. I mean – you lose Mooney, who has come on as of late, but Robinson has always been the big target. And this is Mooney's first year. I mean, Miller was perfectly fine uh, as a receiver prior to this year. And then, obviously, he got himself kicked out, but that was on him. Um, and then defensively, we've been playing with the backup defensive backs for a while. Roquan's a big miss. They missed 13 sacks on their D-line with uh, Hendrickson. I mean, those things happen, like – this, this is the playoffs, and it's a COVID year. Um, all that goes into it. So uh, there's some people going to be tempted to try to excuse it away with that. But at the end of the day, uh, nothing that we did was different. I mean, we went against a quality defense, and it's literally what, I, what I've said. When people take away the uh, bootleg action, which they will, and if the run game is not up to par, especially against a good run defense, it's going to be hard. Like, all this talk about what the offense has done. Now, granted, it's we, part of it is we went against all or teams that weren't that great. Like, and that's obvious. But also, again... That's because you didn't ask Trubisky to do much. And people always get this stuff confused. They always want to talk about effective. They want to see something that works. And, again, and, and this is hard for players to understand at a certain level. This is hard for fans to understand. It's not about just working in the moment. That's why this whole talk, every single time, a win is a win. No, it is not. How you do it is much more important than what you do because certain things can be replicated in tough conditions and certain things can't. And what we were doing offensively was very low tier. And so that is what you saw today. Um, virtually no third down conversions. I don't know if they got in that last drive, which was garbage time. No touchdowns virtually besides that last play, which was garbage time. I mean, you can't, you can't win like that. And that is what we produce against better teams. And it, it was a lot of mistakes. Obviously, you had penalties. Um, you also had, uh, Anthony Miller shooting himself in the foot. Um, uh, concentration dropped by Wims. I mean, a, a lot of stuff. And I will say this, Trubisky made some good plays, uh, or at least some good throws, I would say, um, early. And he, he showed that, but the plan was to get Trubisky to be a drop back passer. And that's when things don't go well. They started doing play action, play action, roll out. That's all they were doing. And everybody's, look how good Trubisky is. It's like, no, that's, that's not how that goes. And so, uh, n not all of it was on him. The run game never really got going that well. And as much as people were excited about us running against bad run defenses, this was the test. This was the test to see what we could do, um, consistently. And then you already know, as far as getting behind, that's going to be tough for us. But defensively, they, they did well. I mean, um, well enough, uh, to keep us in that game. Some crucial plays, um, to either turn the ball over or stop the drive that were really big. And that again, and it is weird to me. Uh, I really have to analyze the game because even last time, I'm just like the way they're built. Now, one thing I will say, which I said in the preview that they, their passing game is built 
to really be what we could shut down because we like to keep everything in front of us. Um, and it was some of the shot plays that got us. And then obviously we had some backup. So that's going to be a thing. The whole Roquan thing. I mean, I, I don't really, I don't think that, uh, reared his head as much as I thought it would with Kamara, but, uh, or Kamara, but it, it didn't really rear his head as much because, in the run game, I wouldn't say he is like a big factor. Um, but in the pass game, obviously he's a big plus, but they didn't attack the middle as much as I thought they would. They went to the perimeter a lot and, uh, we moved fuller over early or most of the game actually. And so we did some different things, but yeah, I got to watch because they, they have a team that I think offensively is built to really rip us apart and they did it uh in the regular season they didn't in this game obviously they end up um doing enough to do what they had to do but everybody thought this was going to be a huge blowout and uh obviously going seven to three um into the half it was you know not that at all and we had some chances to be ahead or to have a game tied so um i'll have to break it down but i think we again, we did well enough to put ourselves in position, um, and that's all you could ask for. But then, you know, they started to wear out. Now, this is a case of the defense getting tired because people use that excuse every game, every year. And it's like some games, that'd be the first drive where the defense uh, got the ball moved on them. And I'm like, they ain't tired, they just got out there. So stop using that excuse. But this was one where it definitely wore down. They definitely um, bend but don't break for a while. And offense just never really showed up. And so, uh, yeah, o- overall, again, this is the Bears team that I have come to know over this time. So a lot of people are probably talking about what do we go from here. Uh, I see all these coaches interviewing and stuff. And, uh, I mean, it's not necessarily any particular candidate that – makes me jump out of my seat but it does make me feel a little weird that we're not in that mix um unless something happens tonight or tomorrow that is kind of out of left field it seems like Nagy's going to be coming back and i just think it's the wrong move it's the absolutely wrong move um to make to bring trubisky or Nagy back in my personal opinion because, I mean, for the many years, I've said this stuff a, a bunch of times, so you could go back and listen to that. But, uh, yeah, overall, uh, he's shown that he's not ready to be a head coach. And he's not really holding this team accountable and getting this team ready to go. Um, we got a good amount of talent on the team. Obviously, uh, the quarterback uh, position is something that we have to continue to look at. But, uh, overall, we're just not, we're not a winning team and we don't have a winning culture. And people want to keep bringing up, oh, we didn't ever lose a seed. Like we're eight and eight and the seventh seed that they just created. We really shouldn't been in the playoffs. Then we didn't score any touchdowns in the playoffs and, uh, in the playoff game today. And then prior to that, I mean, well, this year we know the back half of our schedule was trash. And then Nagy's first year, we had a very easy schedule, and it was one that um, a year that a lot of people didn't really know what to expect from us. And so a lot of that momentum rolled through, but we've seen what we look like. Like, this is not a losing season. Like, come on. I, <laughs> that That is a stretch. That That is a, a real stretch to make it seem like we've done something over this time. It, I mean – are we a competitive team? And I would say um, not always, especially because of our offense. So that's him. And then Trubisky, he's shown you what what he is. And again, I've always said, doesn't mean he doesn't have talent. Doesn't mean he can't make it somewhere else. I just think uh, it's it's not here. It's not here. And so um, we just got to move on. So that's my personal thoughts on the matter but we'll see uh over the next few days if they announce anything if they say anything uh, more than likely we'll get the end of the year press conference and find out just like we did last year 
it's kind of the same old, same old. They might fire a coach or two to throw somebody under the bus, but yeah, we'll see. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's it for me. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up, subscribe, and remember, stay up and bear down.